Hello people, what's up? Uh, this is my first video on YouTube, so I hope you like it. Uh, but I would just do, I just, I would just construct this class on Python about vectors, you know, math vectors. I just wanna uh, construct a class that represents vectors in space. And then we can implement methods in these vectors like uh, sum of vectors and dot product, cross product, and stuff like that. So let's start then with this class vector. And for this video, I will have to from future import uh, annotations because I always like to uh, specify the parameters the arguments of the function when it's the it's the same type of the class so so let's begin definite uh, we'll just initialize it uh, we need to put here self and to construct our ob our objects we will probably need uh, three coordinates because we are talking about vectors in space so x y and z and then we have to say self dot x equals x self dot y equals y and self dot c equals z okay that's it for this method and i always like to put here the type of return okay so pretty simple we can construct our vectors now just saying vector equals vector and passing the values like this uh, pretty simple okay then we must also do uh, operator overloading uh, because because we need a function to add two vectors uh, then we can pass self and other uh, when adding two vectors the return type is also a vector and you know like i said self is a vector but the program doesn't know yes that other is a vector so i will put here other is the type vector okay so uh let's just say the result of the sum in the x coordinates it's just self.x plus other.x. Uh, the same thing with y. Self.y plus other.y. And finally, this. So it's ready. So we can return our new vector. That is the sum of these two vectors here and just x y and z pretty simple huh? um, uh, we can also do the same thing with subtraction of vectors it's pretty simple don't doesn't change anything just this name here uh, fuck sub and also subtract here minus 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 okay pretty simple again but when doing uh overloading of operators with multiplication multiply multiplication sorry <laughs> uh, uh we are not going to multiply two vectors that's that doesn't make sense actually it makes sense when you're talking about uh dot product and cross product but i would do 
another methods for this you know not with overloading but with multiply we can put you know uh, uh, multiplication by scalar you know we have a vector and we we also want to write a vector times a number so let's do it uh, def mo self uh, a scalar that will be a float number and is going to return a vector we're just doing scalar multiplication and pretty simple actually just return vector uh, every coordinate we just multiply by scalar so self.x times scalar self.y times scalar and self.z times scalar just is just this pretty simple again uh, we can do the same thing with division uh, we're going to divide a vector by a number so it's pretty much the same thing we just say true div self is scalar type float and return a vector uh, return vector self dot x divided by scalar self dot y divided by scalar and so on uh, there's a little bit of problem here because if you say that if you pass zero it will raise an error but if you are dividing by zero you deserve to get an error so <laughs> we will let this <laughs> okay uh, let me see what else we can implement in this class uh, I guess we can write a method to the length of the vector you know the magnitude of the vector uh, okay let's do it we can do length of a vector self and it's pretty much simple it will return a float just a number and you know the length of a vector is just the square root of the x coordinates squared plus y coordinate squared plus z coordinate squared so let's do it just return uh, this thing square root and self dot x self dot y squared self dot z squared it's pretty simple again not a big deal uh, let me see what else we can make in a class that represents vectors in space let me see let me see uh, I guess we can I already make a method to dot product and cross product remembering that dot product returns a number not a vector so it's pretty simple again so dot product between two vectors self and other um, I'm gonna write this in a much easier way I'll just put u and v vectors and this will return a number float it's pretty much simple you just add the x uh, the product of x coordinates with the product of y coordinates and so on so pretty simple again u dot x times v dot x plus u dot y times uh, v dot y 
and plus u dot c times uh, v dot c that's it uh, again pretty simple not a big deal uh, okay now we can do a method for cross product and this is going to be a little bit uh, difficult but not so much let's make it cross product between u and v and v is a vector uh, a cross product returns a vector and if you remember it's like we make a matrix 3x3 three three determinant to find it but it's pretty much simple uh, the result of the x coordinate is I guess it's u dot y times uh, v dot c minus u dot c times v dot y uh, I, I can show you guys let's let me find this at google uh, cross product determinant uh, look look it's just this you know for the x coordinates this times this minus this times this and for the y coordinate the same thing this time this minus this one times this one but in this case we have to put a minus sign here and yeah that's it let me put here y it's going to be minus uh, u dot x times v dot c minus u dot c times v dot x and for the z coordinate you can see here x y minus y x so u dot x times v dot y minus u dot y times v dot x and now we can return the result it's a vector x y and c so we have our cross product here very simple very easy but this far is the hardest method we coded until now i guess but pretty simple uh, so I guess sometimes it's really important to to know just the length of the cross product and uh, 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 let's make a method to the length of the cross product just to make life easier for people who gonna use our class <laughs> nobody will, will use it <laughs> but okay uh, this gonna return a float and it's pretty much simple we just return the cross product uh, let me see the vector but cross product u and v but this is a vector we can call the length of this vector and that's it pretty simple uh, we can test this we can put an easy vector here like one zero zero and a vector two it's gonna be zero one zero and we know the result of cross product it's zero zero one and the length it's gonna be one also so let's print it out uh, just do vector dot cross product between vector and vector 2 and actually I want the length of the cross product okay let's see the output 
1.0 that's right uh, but I forgot something about uh, overloading operator uh, we forgot we forget to overload uh, the print so we cannot print our vectors if I say if I say uh, print uh, actually print vector it will just put the address memory a uh, vector object at this memory here so let's make this so we can output the vectors and look at them uh, dev str self uh, just return a string let me put here str and this string is going to be like we can do the same thing as a tuple i guess but i will write vector equals like this parentheses uh, plus uh, str self.x comma plus yeah that's really boring forget a plus here str self dot y and plus comma plus whoops plus str self dot c and finally closing the parentheses this okay I guess it's I guess it's cool uh, let, let me check let me check the result of of the cross product we expect to be zero zero one for these two so a vector cross product between vector and vector two let me see we expect zero zero one and here it is okay let's move on we still have some methods to do i guess uh we could do um uh, the angle between two vectors this is pretty nice pretty cool uh pretty useful uh okay come on uh angle between angle between u and v and this is gonna this is going to be a float uh so uh the we can use the duct product here this method inside this method because if you remember the dot product is the length of this vector times the length of this vector times the cosine of the angle between uh, this is just another way to write it but it's the same thing so we just have to divide the dot product by the length of each vector uh, we can see it in Google let me show you dot product uh, equation uh, you know this this one here you know this is the dot product we just divide by the length of a the length of b and we get cosine of theta so theta it's gonna be arc cosine of this divided by this and this so we need to import math library import math as mt and so let's save the dot product inside a variable dot prod equals vector point dot product p 
between u and v okay so actually we need uh no 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 never mind uh and we also need the the length of u and the length of v we can put here a uh, len u equals u dot length and len v equals v dot length and we just have to return arc cosine of this divided by these two guys here so we have this function mt a cosine that returns the angle returns the arc cosine in radians so we can put in the name of our function uh, angle between red rad just to know it's radian so we just return t dot a cos dot prod divided by len u times len v okay that's it pretty much nice uh we do know we if we have v equals vector one zero zero and u equals vector zero one zero uh the angle between these two guys is 90 degrees uh so pi divided by two i don't know what it is you know 3.14 divided by two uh, we can check this just printing uh, let me put here and print also angle between so vector angle between v and u and let's see if it's the same yeah, it's the same 1.57 1.57 okay then uh so we can also do a method to the angle in degrees angle between dag and this is going to be easier because we can use the other function this is going to be a float uh in Port math as mt and we just return the same thing this method return but multiplied by 108 and divided by pi so let me put this here uh, uh, let me see uh, angle no vector dot angle between hard u and v times this divided by math dot pi okay that's it we we have a method to return the angle between two vectors we have two methods to do this uh, i don't think we have anything else to make here uh, probably uh, we don't have any function here that returns a boolean value so let's make one or two we, we could make uh, a method to say if two vectors are parallel you know if they have the same direction and we also could do a method to say if uh, they are orthogonal like perpendicular so is perpendicular or orthogonal i don't know orthogonal u and v again and this is going to return a boolean value true or false so <clears throat> we do know that uh, the duct product of two vectors that are perpendicular 
uh, it's equal zero so we can use this here just return uh, vector dot product between u and v equals zero if it's true returns true if it's false returns false pretty much easy <clears throat> but when they are when they have the same direction it's kind of hard to no 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 we can use cross product here yeah yeah we can use cross product for is parallel you know i don't know if it's right if this word exists in english parallel you know parallel vectors yeah it's a word <laughs> uh, so u and v vector and we also want to return a boolean value so we need to check uh, we need to put inside the local variable the cross product and then we, we're gonna take the the length of this if it's zero then the vectors have the same direction actually we can put this easier just return a vector dot product u and v length uh, is that right uh, length uh, that's something wrong here i guess no 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 length and then uh, equals zero so i guess this is right um let me see yeah it's probably right uh we ca we can check this to see if i make any mistake here i don't know why this method doesn't appear green like here we know we did vector dot cross oh shit not dot cross product here okay okay now it's right so you know if you have a vector uh one two three and the other vector is you know the same direction we can just multiply all these numbers by the same number like three we would have three six nine so these guys have the same direction uh they are linearly dependent so uh, we could also put this in the name is linearly dependent but this is just linear algebra stuff let's forget uh so print uh we can print is parallel okay uh so v dot is parallel to w and we expect to get true if not goodbye <gasps> okay we got false why is this happening why we got false false i don't know why uh let's print the cross product uh vector cross product between u and v and let's see what we got oh shit okay let's see what we got zero zero minus 12 that's something wrong here i just multiplied by three and also three and three i don't know why is this happening uh maybe i'm doing some wrong math here i don't know uh one times three equals three two times three equals six 
and 3 times 3 equals 9 this is right no uh, let me check uh, let me check this method here uh, ui gz minus uz by um, okay ux vc uz vx ux py ui oops whoops 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 a big mistake here <laughs> we need v dot uh, x <laughs> holy shit uh two hours ago yeah okay let me see now okay now it's right vector zero 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 it's the cross product between two vectors that have the same direction so if we say is parallel uh v and this one we must get true okay that this is right now no problems just uh okay so i guess it's pretty much this uh we did a lot of methods here i don't think we could do more here i don't know i don't know uh is orthogonal parallel I'm thinking if we if we can do another method in this class but yeah I don't I think it's good yeah I think it's good uh, let me think let me think let me think what else uh, can we put in a class that represents this math object um angle between yeah i guess this is it yeah 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 probably it so if you are a numpy user you don't need this class you know you just import numpy and you have all this stuff here between vector you know dot product cross product i guess so this is just you know practicing uh, making a class that is funny and you know we can do a lot of classes uh with mathematics objects so the next time i will bring a complex numbers class it's gonna be fun i guess so that's it thank you for watching uh see you soon take care bye bye